Hi guys, in this video we will try to see how to draw a cone. This cone can be of uh, some ways, something like resting on a horizontal plane with its base or resting on a vertical plane with its base or also we can have questions like it is inclined to horizontal plane with some degrees or inclined to vertical plane with some degrees. In this way there are possible questions which you can be asked in the cone. So what we'll do is that we'll see one by one and we'll solve these things. So first let us talk about draw a cone of base 30 mm radius and axis 80 mm which is resting with its base on horizontal plane. So come to the AutoCAD. What I'll do is that I'll select the cone in the modeling toolbar. Before that what we'll do is that in the new sheet see that we are in the top view so press once top view by default we will be in the top view only but uh, just for uh, safety purpose let us click on top view once again because since this is resting on horizontal plane we have to start with uh, the top view so i am selecting top view again and uh, i am selecting this uh, cone and once the cone is selected the software asks us to give the center point so i have selected this center point and then it is asking us to give the radius so the radius is something as per the question it is 30 mm so it is giving 30 mm like this 30 mm is given then it is asking specify height as per the question it is something like 80 mm right so 80 mm height so i want to give 80 and plus enter so therefore the cone is created here let us see z enter e enter so this is the top view let me see the front view. So this is the front view I am clicking. This is the front view. Okay, it's wonderful, good. So let me go to the isometric view. So in the isometric view, it will be something like this. Let us see the conceptual view of this. So this is the conceptual view. Okay, absolutely perfect. So if I want to give dimensions for this, then what we can do is that for giving the dimensions, definitely you should go with the wireframe model and also you have to go to the top view and front view or side view. These views only should be selected for giving the uh, dimension. So now I am selecting top view. Here you can see the circle. Circle radius is known which is given in the question. So I am selecting radial dimension that is radius and selecting the circle and drawing it beside. As well as we know the in the front view, in the front view we know the axis height. So therefore I am selecting the linear dimension here. I am selecting the point from here to here. And giving the axis dimension here the dimension is coming very small we can increase it by using the dimension style and modify and uh, text height i am sizing it to five say or in the symbol also i'm giving it to some three then uh, in the text also i'll go with the aligned with the dimension line in the primary units i don't want this all i'm going with zero only then press ok then close it's perfect then go to the isometric and let us see Dimensioning is coming a little far from the apex point. The one, one, what I'll do is that I'll select this, I'll select that and use move command and keep this one at this point so that the dimensioning is perfectly given like this. So this is about the cone. As you can see in the, this particular thing is resting with its base on horizontal plane. Horizontal plane and uh, uh, that's it, the question is finished. As you can see, the question is draw a cone of base this and uh, axis this, it's resting on the horizontal plane. So therefore, absolutely the question is finished. So this is how you draw the question. Now, let us go with the second question. What is the second question? It is draw a cone of base 30 mm radius and axis 80 mm, same to same, which is resting with its base on vertical plane. Here, we are talking about base resting on vertical plane. Say something like it is uh, attached to a wall. And this one is something like the first question is something like it is resting on the ground. This is attached to a wall. The cone is attached to a wall. So come to the AutoCAD. Uh, in this case, we have we have done with that we have gone with the uh, top view, right? So, but for drawing the second question, what we have to go is that we have to go with the front view. We have to go with the front view, with the front view, and we have to start drawing the diagram. So that means if you're talking about vertical plane resting on the vertical plane, then which view we have to select? We have to select the front view. So I've selected the front view here, and then go with the uh, cone. Where is the cone? This is the cone. And uh, as usual, go with the same. Here the dimensions are what? 30 mm radius and 80 mm uh, axis. So this is 30 mm and 
axis height is to be is dm so this is finished then come to the even if you can give the dimensions here itself so i'll go with the dimension and then i'll go to the isometric view so dimensioning so this is selection dimension and this is 30 mm and go to the top view this is the top view in the top view i have the dimension from this point to this point that one is also finished and i can draw it here so it is finished let's go to the isometric view see it is finished see it is a little far away so i'll select it and move it from this point to this point so that dimensioning is done you can see the difference between the first diagram and the second diagram what is the main difference here it is that uh, this is something like it is standing position this is like sweeping position if we can uh, talk in a different way this is on the ground and this is attached to a wall something like that so this is resting this is the first one this is resting on the horizontal plane whereas this is the second one this is resting on the vertical plane so this is standing on the ground whereas this is mounted to a wall that is that uh, main difference between the first and second questions the same questions can be given in a tilted way also See, see it is very easy right so there is a possibility that they might give you something like there is an inclination with some plane that can also be given so supposingly there is this question draw a cone of base 35 mm and axis uh, 800 mm and its base touching the horizontal plane and its axis is 45 degrees inclined with horizontal plane then what we can do so come to the autocad we'll take a new file and we'll draw it autocad so first uh, as usual since it is uh, having that it is touching horizontal plane no so therefore we'll draw starting with the top plane itself so select top plane then go to the cone i'm selecting the cone and uh, radius what has given the radius is 35 mm so 35 mm so therefore 35 mm i'm giving and height is what height is around 100 mm is given so 100 mm so this is 100 mm so i have drawn the uh, like z enter e enter i'm pressing so i have drawn the cone basically which is uh, since he said it is touching no so i have thought that this total is resting on the horizontal plane only in this way only it is resting itself i thought but uh, the question is that it is 45 degrees inclined with horizontal plane so there is it is not standing like this but rather it is inclined like this so if you are dry, it should be a little tilted with 45 degrees so right so what we should do is that we have to go to the views so this is the top view here axis is at this point at this point so axis cannot be tilted at this point so in the front view in the front view this is the axis the straight line is the axis so here we can tilt the so what i will do is that i will select this and use the rotate option and from this midpoint i will rotate it with 45 degrees like this so now you can see the axis is the particular axis is tilted with the horizontal plane with 45 degrees right now go to the isometric view you can see it is a little bit tilted you can see in the conceptual way also so it is little bit tilted like this right so that is the way how you that is the way how you draw the uh, cone which is having 35 mm radius base and uh, 100 mm axis as well as uh, 45 degrees inclination with the horizontal the same thing with the like uh, vertical plane inclination also so you can see 25 mm radius and 75 mm uh, axis and 30 degrees inclination we'll try to draw that one also file new uh, or in this only i'll draw what is there wrong in this so this is the top view let me go to the wide frame so instead of uh, going to the top view what should i do i should go with the front view in this case because because the question is that it is touching vertical plane touching vertical plane so let me think that it is totally on the vertical plane itself therefore friend we am selecting it and i am drawing this cone i am selecting the cone and i am drawing the cone which is how much uh, 25 mm radius so 25 mm and axis is uh, 75 mm so 75 mm right 75 mm i have given so this is uh, this diagram is particularly like it is resting on with its base on the vertical plane but as far as uh, uh, we are concerned it should be like uh, 30 degrees inclined to vertical plane so then what we can do is that we will see with the views as usual in the like the, in the previous case this is the front view here vertical plane cannot be tilted come to the top plane here there is a possibility that it can be tilted so therefore i'll select a rotate command and then select it and press enter 
and I'll select this and how much degrees it should be rotated it should be rotated 30 degrees so 30 degrees I'll press it. so 30 degrees inclination is done here you can see it in the this thing. so this is the so in this you can see the cone is drawn with base 25 mm and axis 75 mm touching the vertical plane and its axis is inclined with vertical plane with 30 degrees so this is the vertical plane inclination. you can see in the conceptual also so you can see in the conceptual also this is how the diagram is drawn so that is about the cones so we have seen four types of uh, things one is uh, uh, like uh, one is like resting on a horizontal plane and resting on vertical plane and inclination with horizontal plane and inclination with the vertical plane. So that is about the cones. Bye.